Watching the Highlight Zone with Wing 15 Sports Director Glenn Marini. Local sports coverage you can count on. I think we're just starting to rise up. We come to fight every week. We just got to keep an undefeated SAC record and start our dominance. They've been good for the past five years, so like we just got to come out there and give us the best. It feels really great to have that bell back and have the title. Everybody wants to be on a positive you know, note going into the playoffs. Winning is hard. Winning is very hard. And it's very hard in this conference. It's going to be a great game. As the saying goes, time flies when you're having fun. And hey, it must be true because the regular season is all but done. We're talking week nine on the Highlight Zone with teams looking to finish out strong before sectionals. And that the case at Chambers Field. And for that, we go to Josh Ayan with your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Josh. All right, Glenn. Well, Carroll has already locked up the SAC's victory bell as of last week. Now, this week, the Chargers are simply playing for perfection. A win against Northside, and they would finish undefeated in conference play. Now, the Legends, meanwhile, they have been on fire lately, winning four of their last five games. So, without further ado, Carroll at Northside, it is your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Now, we've got a lot of talent, D1 talent, hitting the turf at Chambers Field. Carroll led by Iowa recruit Jimmy Sullivan as he plunges into the end zone right here to help Carroll take a 7-0 lead. Now, this Northside team has got plenty of D1 talent themselves. You've got James Early Jr., the Cincinnati commit, and you might want to keep an eye on this guy. Probably going to get some D1 offers. Malik Moore, the super sophomore with a grown man catch to eventually set up Tristan Newsom for a touchdown. That ties the game at seven apiece. Now, late second quarter, it is Sullivan hooking up with Mason Boffman for the 28-yard touchdown. And that puts Carroll in front 14-7 heading into halftime. Now, coming out of the break, it was really Dejon Green tap. And man, what a game for the senior green. A buck 33 on the ground, two rushing touchdowns, and an interception. Simply an Ironman, folks. Carroll, meanwhile, up 28 to 7, heading into the fourth. But Northside, not quitting yet. That is Caleb Kingley with a 27 yard touchdown. That makes it a 28 to 14 game. But this Carroll team, a little shorthanded with some injuries offensively. Yeah, they still take care of the job as Will Jeffries plunges into the end zone and Carroll completes the SAC slate undefeated with a 38 to 22 win. Starting off 0-2 and then, you know, um, not getting down, not falling apart, um, bringing it, actually having it bring us close together says a lot about this team, about this coaching staff and about the players that we have on this team to, to really come together and, and work hard. We just have major depth. That's all. I mean, that's all there is as a team. If someone goes down, next man up. That's all, that's all coaches say, next man up. And that's what we do every single time. You know, our kids show you resiliency, you know, and they pers persevere and they end up winning, you know, and we're, and we're blessed. You know, we're blessed to be undefeated in the conference and then to bring the bell back home. Both Carroll and Northside have got a bye week. Chargers open 6A sectionals November 1st against Northrop. Northside opening 5A play that same night against number one ranked Concord. 